What's up guys, Sneak Geek here. I'm coming to you uh, with my first video on this channel. Um, today we're going to be unboxing and sort of taking a first impressions and looks at the Jordan uh, Air Jordan Retro 10s. So as you can see, so there's the side of the box. I'm focusing on look at that. The colorway, white, black, true red. So yeah, obviously they're made in China. So I'm a size 13, so that's what my size is. I got these from uh, House of Hoops at uh, Square One, whatever, Foot Locker, whatever you want to call it. So let's take a look around the box here quickly. So we have a gold Jumpman logo right here. It's kind of like a foil type material. Nothing too special. Front here, we really didn't have anything. We got this, the tag on the side here. Nothing on this side, it's blank. And then on this side, we have uh, the Jordan Jarman logo in that same foil type material. And um, yeah, oh, on the bottom, just that basic Nike Air crap that nobody really gives a shit about. All right, so I'm gonna tell you before I open this box, I did already wear these. I've had these for about two weeks, but everything that you see in this box comes when you buy it brand new. Uh, nothing is changed, everything that is found in here comes when you get it. So yeah, let's open it up. So in here, you're gonna get the nice gold, like 23 wrapping paper. I don't know if you can really see that. I'll show you guys later. So you know, you unfold the paper. And these are the double nickels. That's what they're calling them. All right, so take these things out. Before we get to the shoe, I'll just show you the paper. I'm a big fan of this paper. I don't know why. But as you can see, there's like 23 in gold on the white paper. It's a nice touch, you know. Empty box. Just a cardboard. Or whatever. So it's in there. And we'll put the shoes. Alright, so here is the actual shoe itself. It's a very sleek, nice design, beautiful, beautiful looking shoe. I am a huge fan of these shoes. Just the way they're designed, the lacing system, uh, the number 45 here, if you can see that. I'm going to show you guys that later. Um, yeah, it's just a really well put together shoe. Um, I'll just give you a kind of, that's what they kind of look like, um, you know, laced up and stuff. I don't know why, I'm just, I'm a huge fan of this lacing system. It's like very close together, but it's like squiggly lines. It's awesome. All right, so let's get into a bit of a in-depth kind of look at the sneaker. So here's the actual shoe. Get a good perspective on that. Okay, so up here. It's got a gold, not a gold, a red and black 45. Um, the history, well, let's, before we get into the shoes, I'll tell you a little bit about the shoes itself. Um, so the history, when Michael Jordan retired for, I think it was 18 months, he retired and he went and go and played baseball in the Major League Baseball, MLB, right? So he used to play, well, he left basketball, he went to go play baseball, he returned 18 months later wearing these shoes, double nickel. Right with the, his Chicago Bulls uniform, it looked really nice. And he returned wearing the number 45, and that's why the number 45 is right there. So look, as you can see, the le there's this smooth leather. I guess you could say it's a, it's a very smooth material. It's kind of yeah, it's it's nice. It's not rough at all. And then up here, it's kind of like a almost like a leather, yeah, like a softer leather, and that continues on for the whole shoe. And then here at the front, you got your nice rubber piece here front um, then this top part here and then like a little lace lock I guess whatever you want to call that and then on this side it's pretty dull it's like the same thing on each side and then again you got that nice rubber going along the bottom here and on this side you can see the red and black accents here on the midsole or whatever you want to call it same on this side and then another great thing about this shoe I'm so sorry, they're really, well, they're sort of dirty on the bottoms here, but you see the Jumpman logo on the bottom there? Give you a close-up, see. And then, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's writing on the shoe. I think it says, it says everything just basically about Michael Jordan's career. 
you know, about how many points he scored in some games, his MVPs. And then it ends with a nice white jump man on the bottom. And yeah, that's pretty much the shoe. And on the inside, mm, not enough light around here. Maybe. You can see that sort of, but there's anyway, there's a white Jumpman logo on the inside of the shoe. And then uh, another thing, how you can tell, like it's a retro, is that tag right there. I'm so sorry guys, you can't really see that. But yeah, that's just basically a close up of the Air Jordan theme on the tongue. And then, as you can see, these are worn because you can see the little soft marks, right? And then on the side, on the inside here, your sizing information, your barcode and all that stuff. Um, when you first buy the shoes, I bought them from Foot Locker, as I said before, or House of Hoops, whatever. Uh, they come with these, uh, I guess, paper, cardboard things that you shove in the shoe and it keeps your top part nice and firm here. I do not recommend using these. I mean, if you want, go ahead and use these. Right, but they kind of crumble in a little bit. You know, they're cardboard. They're not the strongest material. And then they come with this little packing slip that you just shove in here so it doesn't crumble as easily. But, you know, I still, what I do is I stuff socks in my shoes. I'll take a bunch of socks that I don't use or a bunch of socks that don't fit me anymore, my smaller socks, a whole bunch of them, and I'll stuff them in there. Right? And then it keeps this part nice and firm. So when you put them on, they're nice and spaced. And then there's no lines. Yeah. Oh, and I almost forgot on the tongue here. It says Air Jordan 23. I don't know if you can see that. And my brother is crying in the background. Excuse that guy. Yeah. He loves my LeBron 12s, huh? And yeah, the other shoe is exactly the same, obviously. And then on the back, I forgot to mention... A nice black Jumpman logo with a little pull tab here and then a black part up here. Whatever. It's a really basic shoe, but they look really, really, really nice on feet with jeans. So that about wraps up my unboxing slash first impressions on the Air Jordan Retro 10s. Um, I'm going to be doing an on-foot review of these and just basically it's comfort and just stuff like that so uh, stay tuned to this channel um, you can see soon a review of the LeBron 12's Heart of a Lion colorway that's gonna come uh, you can expect an unboxing video in a couple weeks of my Jordan Retro 6's I just ordered a pair of Retro 6 Sport Blues from Flight Club, so we're gonna see what they got going there, how uh, how they work and stuff, and yeah, you can just expect a lot of different types of shoes here. I'm planning to get a lot more. I have about ten pairs now. I'm planning to get a lot more Jordans or Nikes or whatever. So yeah, that's my review on the Air Jordan Retro Tens. Quick wrap up. Here's the box. Gold Jumpman, all that stuff there. Blah blah blah. And um, yeah, so stay tuned to this channel for more in-depth reviews and stay tuned if you guys want to find out and figure out what these shoes are all about and if they're worth buying. You can expect those videos very soon. Um, so please like, comment, subscribe, personal message me, I don't care. Whatever you guys want to see, I'll try to, I'll try to do it and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Alright, this is Sneak Geek and I'll see you guys later.